Hale. This is Port 1119. We are here in Wharton County, Texas. You heard that correctly. At the at the uh, Bowling Dome mine, which was a Texas Gulf Sulphur operation. Well, I know you're wondering, hey, this isn't a mine, this is a lake. Well, it's a mine and a lake. Uh, what Bowling Dome was, it was a uh, salt dome. They uh, initially explored it for oil, then discovered there was sulfur, sulfur ore and uh, limestone matrix. Started mining it via the frash process, maybe about 60 years ago. Frash process involves drilling injection wells down into it, pumping it full of near boiling water, melting the sulfur in situ, and pumping it to the surface. Now, when you pull millions of tons of sulfur out of the subsurf, out of the underground, you get subsidence. That's what this lake is, the subsidence lake. So what we're on right now used to be the access road into what they called the minefield. And uh, if we look out here, there's a storage tank, there's electric lines, there's all kinds of stuff. So they would take drill rigs out here, drill down their injection wells, and uh, mine the sulfur out from what is now the lake. I think they went about, down about a thousand feet or so to the dome. So this right here, it just gradually slopes down into the lake. There's a, not really a drop off or anything, just all of a sudden, gravel, lake. Back here, you can see the, uh, the exhaust stacks from the mine's plant. It wasn't a mill. Uh, I suspect they were just purifying sulfur. And, uh, yep. We're gonna go up to the minefield warehouse next. So we are now in the Bowling Dome Mines field warehouse. So this was, was part storage for drill crews working out on the minefield. We've got a whole bunch of valve, pipe fittings, etc. This is where it was stored. We got railed ladders to access stuff higher up. And on the south side, is this the south side? I think it is. We've got offices. You'll have to excuse me, we don't have fresh process mines in Missouri, so this is somewhat of a, a new, uh, yeah, a new adventure for us. Equipment that needs to be repaired. So this might have been a repairman shop. Those are lockers. So this mine, I don't recall when uh, when it started up, but they uh, quit working at really about eh, 1996. But I think they had really known it was over about 1994, and we're working a skeleton crew. Missouri, you don't see the bilingual signage either. Nope. Bienvenidos a Tejas. Se habla español por aquí. Oh, a typewriter. Cool. A lot of ceiling tiles on the floor. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are offices. Apologies, I didn't bring a, a light in here. You need to go now for the time. <laughs> Bathroom over here. Good to know. <laughs> so it looks like this was uh, some kind of board that swung out for some purpose. I'm not really sure what that is. So 
So uh, we are now outside the fuel warehouse. Look over here, you can see the plant stacks, and then this is Wharton County Generating. It's a nat natural gas plant. We're in the middle of a oil and gas field. Over here, outside the warehouse, they've got uh, lengths of pipe. I don't recall if they cased the wells at this mine or not, but if they did, it might have been using some of that equipment. There's a, another structure with an overhead crane inside. So if I had to guess, this excavator over by the field warehouse was probably been here since the mine shut down 20 years ago. It's got like a, a two and a half or three cubic yard bucket on it, which is a big bucket. Uh, Komatsu. I don't know what all they would have used it for. Work, general work over by the minefield, most likely. It don't look as bad as I would have expected given the humidity out here. So here we got a uh, oil derrick. Not too far from the bowling dome mine. So. We're just going to go ahead and run this as part of the same video. So this is a real old style derrick. Gail was saying almost spindle top era, but you know, not quite. I mean, it's modern steel construction. I figure she's 90 feet, 80, 90 feet tall. Yeah, I'm figuring 50s or 60s, but it's out there. I don't know too much about this, but it's a near drill deck in there. Near uh, or it would be down through the middle. It's a squeaky little thing. Oh. No, it's a lot more modern. I'll make you say that. Yeah, we got any uh, we got any any oil workers watching? Love to hear your opinion because this is this is cool. Uh, yeah, cool and out of our depth. Welcome to Texas. So there's a pair of Quonset huts near the plant here at the Bowling Dome mine. Looks like they were used for miscellaneous storage. Roof's kind of rusted through here. They were storing uh, wood and corrugated steel and such for siding. Now if we come over here, a lot of the land here is being grazed. And uh, looks like they had a lot of cattle in here. Got a fan. Those might be boxes of core samples. Off in the back, I can't really tell. Yeah, that was some kind of fan with uh, an electric motor. There's the belt drive housing for it, or belt drive guard. So unfortunately, the the main frame of the plant was torn down about 10 years ago. It was just a uh, real run-of-the-mill steel frame, corrugated steel building. Fortunately, the, the winds died down for, for once. And that's over there is where we previously were at the field warehouse. Oh, it looks like we got here just in time. They're literally tearing down one of the uh, office buildings here at the Bowling Dome Mine. So, these are the offices, labs, etc. This is uh, 
some of the other warehouses. Not sure uh, what exactly these all were used for, but probably supplies for the plant, which was right here. There's actually a, a car in there. That's something. And uh, overhead cranes and such. They're, uh, they're running a compressor. So we're gonna take a look a little bit closer. Uh, oh, okay, this makes sense. This was their shop. And uh, it's a golf club that bought most much of the land, so they got golf carts being worked on in here. That makes sense. So this is uh, where they'd work on mobile equipment. I mean, it's uh, pretty big in here. They got their overhead cranes, so they'd be able to work on probably trucks and drill rigs, because they wouldn't have haul trucks at uh, a fresh mine. All the batteries. This was part of a railroad car, or like a hand car or something. I don't know if they had a if they had a motor on it, but you would have used this to uh, move around on the rails. So over that away used to be where they would uh, pump out and I believe precipitate the sulfur from the plant, and would then use uh, would use shovels to load it onto rail cars, like uh, big old electric shovels, like we uh, we ran at our mines out in Arizona cable shovels. Yeah, so any noise you hear is them tearing down these buildings. It's a shame. Yeah. They should have used these for something. I mean, these are nice buildings. Yeah. Or would have been when they shut the mine down. They're kind of overgrown now. So we're uh, now at the back end of the Bowling Dome Mines vehicle shop. And, uh, there used to be multiple little warehouses with overhead cranes here, but they've all been torn down. So, we wanted to get up close to the, the stacks, if possible. So the main plant was in here before it was torn down. There's an electrical substation. And, uh, yeah, there's a Wharton County power plant. These are awful tall. I'd have to guesstimate they were 200 foot stacks. Like 200 foot easy. So actually, my theory on the power plant is that, especially based on the age of that, of the, of the plant, is that it was actually the, the cogeneration plant that I've heard mentioned when uh, folks are discussing the Bowling Dome mine. So that uh, that actually remained after Texas Gulf shut down the mine, and they continue to use the burn natural gas for electric generation. Over that away is uh, some other buildings, and uh, one that's currently being torn down. I think we got here just in time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in a week's time, there uh, this will be gone. Although. There was enough stuff being stored in the shop that I think it'll it'll stick around for a while. But who knows? See, that's the, the thing with old mines. It's better to go see it in the here and now when it's still here than to wait and for it to be gone. Now in Missouri, we don't really have to fight the, the Forest Service and the BLM so much nor down here in Texas, but stuff gets redeveloped, and when uh, it gets redeveloped, they ain't always respectful of what was there originally. Now, here, you got rails that ran up to the shop. I don't believe they ran into the shop. And then, uh, likely out near those Quonset huts. There uh, isn't really a whole lot more for us to see here, I'm going to check out the plant foundations. I 
say there isn't too much more for us to see. And uh, this used to be where all their sulfur was produced from. There's the plant and the stacks. So the plant frame used to be over here. And uh, I don't know what all this was. They wouldn't have milled molten sulfur. I'd assume it was a purification process or to, to remove gang from it, but there isn't really uh, any tailings dumps here either. So if there's anyone who worked at, uh, at we worked at Bowling Dome in Texas Gulf or uh, at another fresh process, I might have known Freeport, ran one in Louisiana in the, about 2000 or 2002. If there's anyone who can provide more insight on what exactly it is we're looking at here, that would be massively appreciated because this is a uh, a whole new sector of mining for, for Gail and I to look at.